guys, what's up? Today I got this in the mail today from everbuying.com. Um, if you want to see the link, it's down below in the description. Uh, basically, they sent this over for me to review it for you guys. Um, okay, I'm going to show the back and show you the specs of this mouse. So it's 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse. It's using optical technology. There's a nano receiver. It apparently has a built-in energy saving system. And as you can see, some two, just two pictures there. And some more information if you want to read it there. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I'm gonna open this packaging. I already cut these two plastic bits, so I don't have to be hassle getting this out. Okay, so this is the finger mouse. You basically use it by putting your finger here and using this on the desk or whatever you want. You put that to the side first. I'm gonna look into the box. This is the nano receiver. Actually, I'll zoom into it. Okay, as you can see, this is the nano receiver. Isn't gold plated or anything, but it doesn't really matter as long as it works. It's fine. So I'm gonna put that aside. And in the box, we have the cable to charge the mouse. Put this back, and it's all into one side. Okay, so let's go over the mouse quickly. This is the scroll wheel, as you can see. So pretty much uh, left click, right click. This is where you charge the mouse on top here. I'll demonstrate. So here's the cable. Just plug it in like that and then put that into a USB port into your computer. Um, either way, this does not connect the mouse to the computer. You still have to plug in the nano receiver. This is only for charging. Um, at the back here is Velcro. So then, no matter what size finger you have, it this is also elasticy. So then it will fit your finger no matter what. So I'll zoom in here. Actually, here is the optical eye, and these are the mouse feet. They're extremely small mouse feet, especially compared to my other gaming mouses, but this is not a gaming mouse. This is just for like work or school, it doesn't really matter. So this isn't for any gaming use, it's just for like, um, I guess you can put on display or just for fun. Here is the power switch. I don't know why they designed it this, um, I don't know how they designed it, but this is basically the switch. You can't actually access it with your finger. You have to get some sort of um, blunt object or sharp object. Just like put it in there. So I'm going to get a knife. Or actually, let me get this. I'm going to put some zip ties and I'm going to poke it out. Okay, now it's on, I think. Okay, I'm going to charge it first. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've just plugged it into the included cable. And now the sensor detects um, any surface. So I'm going to plug it into the computer now and show you how smooth this mouse works. Okay, hey guys, um, now I'm on my laptop and I've plugged it into my computer. I have to say this mouse is actually quite good for using these type of surfaces like where you where you normally put your hand. This mouse is actually quite um, sensitive to these type of surfaces. So uh, I find it quite um, easy to use. Wait, let me zoom out a bit. Okay, so as you see my mouse. I'm still getting the hang of this, but if you should make the speed slower, because right now, um, in Windows 7, I made the speed the fastest, so it's a bit harder for me to control. So let me say I want to go um, where the circle is on the Google. And, yeah, it's actually quite a fun and easy mouse to use, but it does take some practice to use. 
So, um, I would say this mouse is actually quite fun to use, like, for laptops and stuff. But I don't really recommend this for desktops. But other than that, I think this mouse is quite good for its price. And the shipping on this is actually free. So, you guys can go and check out the website. It's in the description below. And I'll see you next time on Patrick Sachs.